hello and welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to be opening and reviewing the jazzy flapper and fur coat outfit uh from claudie's collection now this isn't actually an outfit for claudie even though it's part of her collection it's inspired by claudie so um what american girl did um, as they partnered with Harlem's Fashion Row. Uh, they've partnered with them before for the World by Us line. And these are supposed to be outfits that are inspired by Claudie, but with a more modern flair. So you're going to see modern aspects, like the shoes here, definitely very modern, but with respect and uh, details that hark back to 1920s. Um, but this would be something a, a girl would wear in, in theory in the 2020s. That being said, I think that you can still get away pretty with most of these outfits for Claudie in her time period. A few aspects are going to be more modern than others. But that being said, um, I, I'm really happy I bought this one and another one. I actually like the other one more, but... Um, I'll explain why I'm opening that one last in my, uh, next video. So, um, I do want to flip this around real quick so you can see, uh, this is the Harlem's Fashion Row designer, Samantha Black. Uh, she did Yvette's outfits, uh, and I think that's probably why I like, uh, Claudie's outfits so much as well, because I just really like everything that Samantha has, Samantha Black has made with American Girl. I really loved all of um, Yvette's outfits, and I really love all of Claudia's outfits. I, I did buy my favorite too, but um, I really love Samantha Black and her work with American Girl. So, you know, I, I hope they'll continue that partnership. Uh, I, I really appreciate it. So, okay, but back to the outfit itself. Um, so the outfit, the, the thing that stands out the most for this outfit is this big fuzzy jacket here. Um, I am not a huge fan of fuzzy jackets. This one is really soft, but it, and it is, um, like faux fur. I know that, but like, it is very, it looks like a cat to me. And I know if I owned a cat, they would probably want to play with this. I, I own a dog, um, who pretty much leaves my doll stuff alone, so I don't think I have to worry about that, but uh, if you have an animal in your house that's not um, too careful, they might think this is a toy or something. Um, but yeah, it's a really poofy white jacket. It is not the reason I got this outfit. Uh, the next thing in the box is uh, the shoes. The shoes are patent leather, very modern, very slim design. There is a heel on it, which is kind of interesting. Um, but this is just a very interesting, this is the, I think to me, the most modern part out of the whole thing. Um, I think you could get away with using the other aspects of the outfit, but the shoes are definitely screaming modern to me. Um, the actual, um, showcase in my opinion, this is the best part, and this is why I bought this dress. So this is a shift dress with lace designs. There's a little bit of uh, embroidery detail on the on the bottom with the same color. There's the clear tag, American Girl. Um, the top here has a very high neck um, and a sheer up at the neckline, which is really awesome. Um, back is just plain, but that detailing along the bottom continues all the way. So I'm not sure why they continued this and not to the middle one, but it doesn't bother me too much. Um, I'm, I'm glad at least part of it goes all the way around. So that's definitely the showstopper here. And then, oh, okay. So this is the hair bow. And I wasn't quite sure how it was going to look because when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, are they really going to make me put a scrunchie up? in Claudie's hair, but that's actually not historically accurate. Um, a clip would be more accurate. And sure enough, it's clip. So that way you don't have to copy this hairstyle. I'm just going to use a side clip for this. Um, I also want to say, I think my Claudie looks a lot prettier than the one on the box. I don't know, there's something about her, I don't know, 
She just doesn't look like the dolls on the shelves, which is not a bad thing, but like she doesn't look like my Claudie. So. Um, but those are the pieces. Um, I love the matchiness. Like, I love that this is exact matching. Um, I think you could replace with more historically accurate shoes and Claudie could get away with wearing this. Um, for me, this is going to be like Claudie's spring dress. Um, because I, I, I probably won't ever use the fur jacket after this video. We'll see. Um, but it's not my, not my favorite thing. Okay, so I'm going to pause. I'm going to get this on Claudie and tell you my final thoughts there. Okay, so here is my Claudie in the Jazz Flapper inspired outfit. Um, so I have the hair clip. Um, so I still have her original neat style with the hair bow. So that's really nice that I have that clipped in. Oops, come here. Um, yeah, this... um. I love this outfit, minus the jacket. The jacket is just a no-go for me. Um, I just, I don't like fuzzy jackets. Um, so, for me, I, it just makes it really difficult because, like, I love everything else about this outfit except for this jacket. The jacket seems to be the big in-your-face item that I just... I'm trying to get it off her so you can see this without the jacket i think she just looks so sweet with without it i don't know i'd love to hear your thoughts um the jacket is just not for me but um the dress itself is very cute on her very 1920s inspired and the shoes I like are very versatile. They could be used for a lot of different outfits. Oh, I don't know. Um, overall, like if it was just this, I think they could have made it a little cheaper and I would be more happy with it. Um, I think the, you know, the big show, oops, sorry, Claudia. The big showstopper piece here was the fuzzy jacket and it just doesn't do anything for me. So um, I'm thinking B plus for this. Um, Yeah, because I love everything except the jacket, but the jacket's like the biggest piece. And that's, that's like, I know a lot of, you know, if I, if it was just this, I'd be giving this an A+. Plus, but, I mean, that jacket really, for me, takes it down to the B range. Uh, which is unfortunate. Like, if they could have replaced it with, I don't know, um, ooh, actually, if instead of putting those pearls... In her accessory set, let me pause it real quick. And maybe if they instead had put pearls with this, or a purse, or I don't know, just something up other than the big jacket, I think I'd like it a lot more. At least for the price that I paid. Um, but yeah, so that's my thoughts on this. Um, there's the big poopy, so like it's even so bright. There you go. Get the camera time to adjust. It's just I'm not into big poofy jackets. Like I didn't even buy the Janie and Jack big poofy jacket. It's just not not for me, but I love the rest of it. So B plus, and that's not because I don't like it, it's just because I, I don't like the jacket, and the jacket was a big part of the outfit. Okay, so um those are my thoughts. I, I do think um, this jack or this um, outfit is worth getting. I think there's a lot of good about the dress, about the hair bow, about the shoes. Um, I think overall there's a lot of good here. Um, I think you'll just have to decide. You know, if, if you're a fan of the big poofy jackets, then go for it. I'd say you know go and <laughs> don't stop. Just run, go get this. Uh, but if you're not a fan of the poofy jacket, then I definitely wait for it to go on sale. Um, because I do think this dress is definitely worth it. I love the collar, the, the neckline, the lace. It's just all the little details. I love it. Absolutely. Okay. So like I said, this will probably be a dress for Claudie in the spring. Um, and I think she just looks adorable in it. 
So uh, my next video will be the other Harlem Fashion Row um, inspired by Claudie outfit that I purchased. So I hope you'll join me then. Bye for now.